Hey guys, in this video, we are going to focus on how to capture text box entries on submit button press. You have seen my previous video where we have set the geometry of the app that we have created using Tkinter. Now let me run this and show you how the app was working which would help as a recall. You can see the app was created and we have set the geometry of all the elements towards the left. Now here we will focus. Let's say I'm going to make some entry to this one. Okay, if I'm making some entry to this specific text boxes, how can I capture these values and show it? So capturing these values is the technique which we are going to focus today. The moment I click on submit, I should be able to capture all this data. So how that can be done, we are going to see in this video. Now here our focus is on the submit button. The moment I click on submit button, it should do. That means an event has to trigger the moment I am clicking on the submit button. So how do I write this? All right. Now for this, we'll be just be focusing on the submit button. Okay. Now we have to pass a very special parameter called command. Okay. Using this parameter, I'm going to call a trigger function. That means the moment somebody clicks on the button, it should call a function. Now, to, when I say call a function, have you defined a function? No, we haven't defined any function yet. So let's define a function. So how do you define a function? Simple, you write def and provide a function name. So here I'm saying on click underscore submit button. You can give any name you want. So I'm saying on click submit is the function name and you open and close parenthesis, put a colon. After this, you have to capture the data from all of these fields, right? So how many text boxes we have? We have one name text box, then we have one email text box, and then we have phone text box. So from all of it, I want to capture something. So let's create a variable called name equals to, and I'm going to say name underscore text box. And there is a very important function called get. Okay. So what happens by doing it? name equals to name underscore text box dot get this is the function i have to use now let's say i would like to show it on a message box i want to display that data in a message box for that i have to import something called message box from tkinter so i have to say from tkinter import message box now here i'll be using the message box here and say message box dot show info Okay, show info is the method to show some kind of information. If you want to show error, then there is something called show error. So I'll say show info. And here there are two parameters. One is the title of the message box. So I will say uh, captured data, comma, and what exactly you would like to show. So I would like to show name. Now, once you have defined the function for all of the text boxes, like I have done for the name, same thing you can do it for email, phone number, and all of that. So here the learning point is dot get. Okay, dot get and how to use a message box to show the data. Now, uh, captured, captured data. Okay, now to show the data, all I have to do is run it. But before you run, have you given this function name in the submit button is very important. So copy this and here in the command parameter, I'm going to paste this. Remember while putting the function name you should not use the parenthesis it should be just like this on click submit so it understand if you put a parenthesis it will start running in this line i don't want to run only when somebody clicks it should run so that is why you should not put a parenthesis over here whatever the name you have defined for the function now let me show you if i run this particular code what's going to happen so you see the uh, box has appeared and let me enter let's say one data called rakesh kumar and I'm going to hit on submit. The moment I hit on submit, what would happen? This line will get executed. Do you see it has paused here? The moment I hit on submit, what happened? The function been called and then it has captured the data. It said capture data here and the name variable which got the data has been shown. 
So this is the technique which I have to use it for all of the other boxes and get the data. So in this video you have learned how do you activate your submit button and then how do you get the data using the get function all right and the message box definitely so these are the three learning points that you have got from this video we are going to meet once again but remember to comment in the video section if you have completed this exercise simply say done so that i understand you have completed this exercise so we are going to meet up with another interesting content in the future so please do stay tuned and do like and share the videos of our channel thank you take care bye bye Thank you.